What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you exactly how the smudge sticks are less safe after the latest patch in Phasmophobia. I'm going to show you exactly what has changed and how the smudge sticks work now. And you will see why the intended buff of the smudge stick was actually a nerf. Make sure to follow me on Twitch for more Phasmophobia signs or just to hang out and have fun with some ghosties. Without further ado, let's have a look at the changes to the smudge sticks. The changelog says the smudge stick's smoking time has been reduced from 15 seconds to 6 seconds to match the ghost delay during a hunt. Let's quickly recap what smudge sticks really do during hunts. Smudge sticks are your only defense mechanism in the game. If you take a lighter and a smudge stick with you, you can just turn it on by pressing F. When the ghost is within 6 meters of you, it will start wandering for 5 seconds. During those 5 seconds you can even touch the ghost. Once the 5 seconds are over and it's not a banshee, it will pick a target that is closest in line of sight of the ghost. If you are able to break line of sight with the ghost during those 5 seconds, you have a chance to escape. Now we never had a good idea when the smudge sticks are hitting the ghost and it starts wandering. But the death of the game revealed to us content creators how it really works. The game is doing a distance check to the ghost when you are lighting up the smudge stick. When you are within 6 meters of the ghost, it will make it start wandering. While you see the smoke coming out of the smudge stick, no further checks are being done. Once the smudge sticks turn off, it will do another check. So it basically just does two checks at the start and at the end and in between there's nothing. And this was exactly the reason why they've cut down the time from 15 seconds to 6 seconds. It is less confusing to people that are new to the game when the smudge sticks are actually hitting. So even if you are missing the first check because you are not within 6 meters of the ghost, you don't have to wait 15 seconds for the next check, you have it after 6 seconds. And these 6 seconds also translate to the usage of smudge sticks during the non-hunting phase. As you may remember, you can prevent hunts by smudging the ghost room. And there it works the same, when you are lighting up the smudge stick it will make a 6 meter check and it will also make one after 6 seconds. When you are hitting a ghost with the smudge stick during a non-hunting phase, it will stop hunting for 90 seconds. And for spirits this time is actually even doubled to 180 seconds. Now this can be very problematic after the new change with very big rooms or hallway ghosts. There's simply not enough space you can cover with 6 seconds. If you would draw the two checks that are being done, you would see that the two circles are even overlapping. How do we know this? That is actually fairly simple to calculate. Your running speed is 1.6 meters per second and after 6 seconds you have traveled 9.6 meters. So they are overlapping each other by at least 2 meters. That means now when you are trying to smudge the ghost, you have to have a good idea on where the ghost actually is in the room. With this new update, ghosts are now actually also wandering a lot. And they will also now wander far away from the ghost room, which was not the case before this update, for most of the ghosts. Only the Wraith, the Phantom and the Banshee had that ability as their ghost powers. The Wraith can teleport to a random player, the Phantom can wander to a random player and the Banshee can wander to its target and start a hunt when the target enters line of sight within 20 seconds. All the ghosts can now also wander to random locations which don't necessarily have to be near a player. The best way to figure out the ghost's location is by listening for the footsteps of the ghosts. You can also listen for interactions with doors, light switches or objects. Ghost appearances obviously show you also where the ghost is. And if you are having a very inactive ghost, try to use infrared light sensors to see when they are being triggered. Once you see one of those, immediately go to the location and use your smudge stick. Now if you thought this was the bad thing about the smudge stick change, I have to disappoint you. I uploaded my first video on how smudge sticks work 8 months ago. If you wanna rewatch that, I'm gonna link it in the top right corner. Before we go into detail, I'm gonna show you a few clips from this video. It's coming. It's coming. There it is. Okay, I'm lighting the smudge stick now. Pushed it away from me. Yeah, he turned around. 
And he turns around again. Oh, oh there he comes. He's, he's at the stairs, yeah. Yeah, he literally walks um, away from me. Right, I'm lighting the smoke stick right now. And he turned away immediately. Come closer to him. Now go away again. Smudge sticks out. <laughs> he just went. He just went into the hole. <laughs> He's lost. First, I want to show you a quick proof that the wandering time is five seconds. The second thing you probably noticed is that one smudge stick made the ghost wander twice. But how could that be? The mechanics of the smudge sticks did not change according to the death. So if you were within 6 meters of the ghost after the 15 seconds, the ghost was wandering again. So you had a total of 10 seconds where you were actually safe from the ghost. And you probably agree with me, 10 seconds is a lot on a 50 seconds hunt. Now since smudge sticks have changed, we had to do the same tests again. The tests are a bit harder to do now, because all the ghosts are speeding up when you are within line of sight of them. We loaded up the high school again and tried to drag the ghost down the corridor. As soon as the ghost gets too close, we used the smudge stick and ran down the corridor with the smudge sticks in our hand. And this is what happened. Watch in your hand. I'm in line of sight. Yeah, she's not out yet though. Now she is. Now we can go to the stairs. Okay. And as soon as she really close, you can smudge her. Now smudge. Lighted. Uh, it ran out. Yeah, just run down the corridor, good. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> it was nerfed. Oh, you're gonna die. This is how long the wandering phase was. As you can see it was exactly 5 seconds again. But the most important thing you probably notice now is that the smudge sticks only work once now. That means your smudge time where you are safe from the ghost reduced from 10 to 5 seconds. So you have to be way more careful now when you are going to smudge the ghost. I actually asked the dev if that is intended behavior now. And he confirmed that the double smudge that we were able to do before this update was actually a bug. How do you feel about the latest smudge stick change? Do you think they are more or less useful now? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching and we see us in the next one. Oh, all these patrons. Thank you so much guys for your support. Mwah. Big schmutz. Mm -hmm.